Okay, so the first step is to grab an NES cartridge. Then grab some alcohol and three Q-tips. You're gonna soak those three Q-tips in alcohol. Really wanna get them soaked. Then grab the cartridge and soak the pins in the alcohol using the Q-tips. Okay, so you're gonna insert the cartridge and you're gonna remove the cartridge and reinsert the cartridge. You're gonna do this a couple of times and the whole reason for this is to get the pins uh, in the NES to soak with the alcohol and that's gonna act as a cleaner. Basically, you're using the NES cartridge as a cleaning cartridge. So grab your Q-tips with the alcohol and wet the pins again. So you're just gonna go ahead and dip them and you're gonna re-wet the cartridge pins. So once that is nice and soaked, repeat the process. You're gonna stick the NES cartridge back in your NES and remove the cartridge a couple times, put it in a couple times and that's gonna clean those pins. All right, by now, normally if your NES needs cl good cleaning, your Q-tips are gonna be pretty black. So grab three new Q-tips and repeat the process. Dip them in alcohol, make the cartridge nice and soaked, insert the cartridge, and that's about the gist of it. Now let your NES sit for about an hour and give it time for all the alcohol just to kind of dry up before plugging it in. And hopefully, when you plug it in and you press that power button, everything's just working nice and smoothly. If it doesn't, stay tuned for my second video, uh, which will be coming up next in about a week or less, and that will show you how to fully replace the pin sets, um, the pin set inside your NES. So stay tuned.